resources to create wealth, not by getting into complicated calculations, but just by following some very simplistic tips right here on our show. As always, we have special guests today just to introduce first what will be our focus on turning money to wealth. The focus is on financial checkup. What is it that you need to do and how financial checkup actually works? It is actually defined as review of your investment plan, measuring progress vis-a-vis -vis plan of action and adjusting for changes in your life cycle as you go along. Every six months, 12 months, one year, two years, five years, you call it periodic review, but you have to review almost on a regular basis. As always, a special guest panel, Anup Bhakti from ICICI. Good to have you back again, Anup. And uh, Gaurav Mashuwal, a financial planner who writes in, like our style, in a simplistic fashion, as we all like to do this right here, just to make sure that wealth creation is not that complicated. First off, what we need to flag off is why health is wealth. Financial health is also wealth. Financial check gives you a big picture of your financial health. It is a top to bottom assessment of your financial status in a structured manner. You actually have to go through that exercise. Some of the ways to define goals in terms of financial checkup is to let's say the smart idea. Like in news we say the KISS principle, keep it simple, stupid. In financial checkup you keep it smart, which is the goal should be specific, it should be measurable, it should be attainable, it should be relevant and it should be time related that means you have to have a deadline to achieve those goals not just keep on postponing them indefinitely after every week and every sunday to sunday you keep on saying i have already done it so i don't need to do it anymore so that's a smart idea that we are talking about on this show anu bakhti let's kick it off by asking you we are back to the basics we are back to the drawing board we are doing financial checkup a lot of people do planning but they never go back to the health checkup why the reason why they don't go back is they think that it is a one time activity it never is a one time activity because as we move ahead in our lives, our life goals changes, our aspiration changes. It is always important and a must to go back to what you have originally planned, whether it is going as per schedule, not going as per schedule, what are the things that you have to tweak in. Because ultimately life goals, uh, they are quite non-negotiable, at least the, the, the important goals are quite non-negotiable. So it is important then that you go back to, the drawing go board back to them. And you navigate yourself well. It's just like you would have a health checkup every six months to 12 months. You better do your investment planning also like that. Absolutely. Gaurav, in terms of your experience, uh, it is great to say that we should do this. We never do this. Like in terms of your physical health, everybody says I will go back to the doctor after six months and they forget till insurance renewal comes up. In your experience, financial checkup is still a misplaced criterion in Indian investors' mind? I guess it's, it's misplaced across, so it's, it's not India which is, it's just that people are not clued onto their finance. Certain extremely, extremely basic and fundamental things. For example, uh, ask people how, do, how much money they have in bank and the answers are I check on ATM machine, I check on internet, I get bank statement which means the bank is telling them how much money they have in bank, they don't have a parallel bank passbook. Ask a salaried individual how much health cover your employer is giving you. He has never walked up to his HR department and said, can you please tell me what is the health cover? What will you get to know if you actually know these things on your fingertips? How is it different from somebody who doesn't? By the way, I belong to the latter category.